Hi, I'm back already. Um, very short video. Um, this is just to do, I promised to do a shout out and I clipped my video together this week so one's just gone out, you might have just seen. Um, and I sort of like processed it, edited it all and processed it all. Uh, remembered I've promised to do the shout out. Um, so I filmed a shout out, tried to upload it to the process video and it just wouldn't, I couldn't process it, it wouldn't join in and that lot. So uploaded the video, released the video, and I'm just doing the shout out now that I promised. Plus I'm gonna chuck a couple of others on there that um, are definitely worth a look. Uh, um, so sort of fairly new YouTubers and uh, you know, I think you guys will enjoy them. Um, yeah, so just on the way home, Friday off, Friday, well, Friday evening now, half past six. Um, I just had to stop to get me uh, COVID test. No, I ain't got COVID. Don't worry. No, it's um, the new law that's come in um, when you go when you go abroad. All inbound um, lorry drivers, you have to have a COVID test within two days of being back, three days after that, and then three days after that. So I got my first one done last Friday night. Tuesday and now today we anyway I digress um so yeah um so shout out so um like I said DT Coy the Yorkshire Coy man young lad uh, built his own pond uh on a bit of a budget um he was trying to get to 250 subscribers I believe he's actually passed that now he was doing a giveaway and I think the giveaway's still going so if you want to get in there and uh be in with a chance of getting a prize. I think it's uh, fish food, I think it is, he's given away. Uh, I'll po post a link down below and that lot. So it's DT Coy, the Yorkshire Coy man. Um, like I said, you know, nice little setup he's done all by himself. And it's nice to see sort of like younger people getting into the Coy keeping world. So yeah, pop across, have a look at his channel if you aren't already subscribed. Yeah, okay. Now, and the other one is. Um, now I hope I pronounced this right. Um, is Lou Margot um, originally from France, born and raised in France, but she now lives in the UK. Um, used to have a um, preformed pond. Uh, now started building her own raised sleeper pond uh, all by herself. And you know it's going to be a cracking little setup when it's done. And um, she's been a subscriber of mine for quite a while. And um, now she's started doing her own YouTube channels. Um, again, I'll post the link down in the description. And I'm sorry, Lou, if I'm saying your name wrong. But presuming because it's French, L A U, and A U is normally U in French, I believe. So, so Lou, uh, is, I believe is your name. But please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, pop over, have a look at her channel. Um, it, like I said, it's going to be a cracking pond when it's done, when it's all done. And um, you know, like I said, she's done all the work herself, including all the ground clearance and everything like that. So yeah, that's definitely worth a look. Another channel, and also is Lee Hatfield. <laughs> um, absolutely stunning pond um, set up. You uh, know, the setup and everything like that's fantastic fantastic house fantastic garden man cave huge garage workshop everything like that i mean it's, yeah jealous he's got it all um but yeah definitely worth a look just for that and if not just for that i mean he's mad as a hatter in a nice way <laughs> i mean yeah completely bonkers really good personality um yeah i think you'll enjoy his videos so again so lee hadfield again link in the description down below and another shout out to my good friend chris stubbins in uh, canada i think i've mentioned his channel once before um again chris has uh, been keeping fish of all descriptions for a long time he's got uh, a man cave stroke fish room with his indoor tropicals and um, some of his smaller koi and tanks and then he's got his koi pond outside quite interesting to see how uh, people in sort of places like canada where you get really cold winters deal with uh, winter compared to how we deal with winter and koi keeping in in the uk um 
you know, it's almost total opposites for a lot of people, you know, they don't believe in heating, a lot of them don't. So it's definitely worth having a look. Um, so yeah, again, the link will be down below in the description, but yeah, Chris Stubbins, another one. All right, guys, so that was all I wanted to do. Like I said, just a little short one, just for some shout outs. But anyway, um, enjoy yourself. Have a cracking weekend. Um, like I said, covers coming off this weekend. And also I'm gonna be doing a dealer visit to a first time dealer visit to Howie Coy down in Dorchester. Um, so close to my house and I never realized they were there until I sort of found them on Facebook it's, and um, sort of like reading all the testimonials and everything like that sounds like a really good place with really friendly people so I, I rang them up today and said can I come down and they said yeah so I'll hopefully I'll be going down um, wife allowing and I do uh, be doing a bit of um, videoing down there so covers coming off and a visit to uh, Howie Coy in uh, Dorchester all right, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.